Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today on Sharon Nippity, we're going to be making homemade lasagna. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to get out a pound of hamburger meat. Hamburger meat. And then also one small onion. And we're going to dice that up and we're gonna brown the hamburger meat with the onion. And then we're going to add our ragu sauce, which is just a normal ragu sauce. All right guys, so once your um, hamburger meat has browned, along with your onions, they're all cooked through, you're going to add the ragu sauce. And you'll just mix it all together. And then we're gonna go to our next step while this is all mixing together and heating up just a little bit. We're gonna go to our next step, which is making the cottage cheese, um, that white cheese that you see in the middle of the lasagna. We're gonna do that next step. The cottage cheese mixture, you're going to add in two eggs, cottage cheese, and you want the um, large container of the cottage cheese and it's going to be the small curd. You want the small curd, not the large curd. It's better to, it's a better texture whenever you're eating it. You don't want like the big curds. And then you're going to add in one cup of Italian um, cheese. And give that a little mixture and make sure whenever you um, mix it up a little bit, you go ahead and add a little bit of salt. And then you also want a little bit of pepper. And give it a little another swirl. All right, y'all. Now that we're back, we're going to take a pig pan, spray it with whatever, like Pam, whatever you use. We're going to go ahead and the bottom, we're going to make sure we cover the bottom of your pan until you can't see the bottom of it anymore. Right. Once you've covered the bottom of your pan, you're going to add four noodles. I use the oven bake, the oven ready kind. It's a lot easier than actually doing the boiling and everything the old way. But you do whatever way you want to, but this just makes it easier and when you're in a hurry and everything at night when you come home for work or whatever, um, you can actually already have this prepared. And then just go ahead and put it in the oven. Right, so we're going to put that down. And I've actually put four and almost five in here. And then after you put that down, you're going to take and you're going to put in some of the cottage cheese mixture. And you're going to cover all the noodles with it. More meat sauce to this. Make sure that you cover. the cheese sauce, the cheese mixture. After you're done adding the meat sauce, you're gonna add another four more noodles or enough to make sure that you cover the bottom of your meat sauce. And it's okay if the noodles overlap just a little, you don't want too much, but And then once you're done with that, you're gonna add more cottage cheese mixture. And you'll just add the rest of your cottage cheese mixture, which that should be enough. After you've added the rest of your cottage cheese mixture, you're now gonna add the rest of your meat sauce.
All right, y'all. Now, after you've added the rest of your meat sauce, you're gonna add your one can of tomato sauce. And this is a small can. I'm just gonna add this to the top of it. Then you can smooth this out too. And then after that, you're going to add in um, the rest of whatever cheese you want. Like I use sharp cheddar. It's a mixture of that with the Italian. So then what I'll do is I will just sprinkle some of each and make it as cheesy as you want. All right, so once you have all the cheese on there that you're going to want, you're going to put aluminum foil on top of it and you will stick it in the oven at 375 and that's gonna be at 45 minutes with the foil on. And then after that 45 minutes, you're gonna cook it for another 15 minutes with the foil off. So I will go ahead and bring you back in 45 minutes so that way you can see what it looks like. All right, y'all, it's been 45 minutes, so we're going to take the foil off. All right. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to stick it in the oven like this for another 15 minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like right after that. All right, y'all, so we're done. So, like I said, you will see a little bit of either grease or tomato sauce come through. The grease, of course, is from the cheese, but it will taste amazing. Don't forget to join us next week when we make something that you'll enjoy also. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and ring that notification bell. Bye, y'all.